prior to five years when the town board you know, members change every two years. You can't uh, point someone. Oh, just by the way, we change every every year technically. No, well, no, because they're four-year terms for mm -hmm. town board members. Okay, so the supervisors two years. Still, but the council people it still can four change years. every two years because right. of, mm -hmm. of that period. So um, that that would be my other point on that. So you know, basically. Um, I think that it's just a question. I think you need to coordinate with the county primarily to make sure that they're on the same page, um, that they agree as to the dollar amount of work to be completed. Um, well, from the county, they seem to say the, extent, the extension of the agreement has been placed on their June 16th meeting agenda. Can I address this, or? Yes, sure. I mean, I think it might be easier. Um, Carol Hanlon is I'm chair sorry. of the I'm Master Plan Carol Committee. Hanlon, I'm chair of the Master Plan Committee. The reason that the contract is going to be, or we're requesting that the contract be extended, is that we have a new Master Plan Committee. And when the Codes Committee first signed this contract um, to be enacted back in September of 2009, um, it fully anticipated it was going to be completed by the end of the year, and it wasn't. Um, there is an extension clause in the original contract which says that we can extend it for another year, which would have brought it into another board because all the elections were in um, November. Our committee has not even begun to address the town center, the size of it, the location of it, whether we're going to actually do it, whatever those parameters are. And Mr. Clauser stopped his work back in November because the codes committee owed him the information as to was it 175 acres, was it 85 acres, and what was the density. So the town of Stanford is the one to put the brakes on completing the contract by the end of the year. And then with the change of the board and the change of the committee, all right, we didn't continue any work, obviously. We had Mr. Clauser come in and address the committee. And we decided at that point, until the committee got its arms around exactly what was going on, we had Ed Mills here from Dutchess County Water and Waste Authority, that we would put a stop to the contract and any work that was being done now, because it did actually expire last December. What we are asking for, and we have coordinated this with Dutchess County, Water and Waste Authority uh, is an extension just so that the committee can look at the feasibility study and exactly what, how we want to go forward with it. Now you asked about how much work had been done. It was 25% of the contract had been completed. All right, we have been billed $2,700 so far, which we have paid, and the county is responsible for the other $2,700. We have received interim reports for Mr. Clauser, and we are waiting for some additional information on those reports. It is nobody's intention to increase the budget line, which we have money in the budget to pay for the balance of the study, should we decide to go forward. But this is not a decision about whether to continue the study. <coughs> this is just a request to extend the contract for that period of time that we would need to take a look at it because the committee is not in any way at that point. Right. Uh, Dutchess County Waste and Water Authority has gotten the money from the county. It's not their money, it's county money. So they originally wrote the contract, and they have been working with us and understand the point at which the Master Plan Committee is and why we can't continue. So that's really what we're asking the board for. And I don't know if that answers all your questions. Um, it helps because <laughs> essentially... <laughs> The, I think the main issue from the town is is that my main point would be is that I think we have to stay within the budget or else we have to consider to appropriate more. So it sounds like right now we are within budget. If the, It sounds like the cost and the work is about equal. Um, you know, roughly about 5,000 has been spent out of a total of roughly 20. That would be 25% of you know, the project and uh, the only other issue I have is just to make sure that the county money is available to Dutchess County Water and Wastewater for that period of time as well. 
uh, because often they budget in a year, if it's not spent, then it goes back to another. And we've had conversations with Bridget Markley, mm -hmm. who is the executive director, and with a representative who actually, I think Virginia gave it to everybody, is the extension, the amendment, I think it's called, um, right. which includes the extended um, time frame. The only reason that there's an increase put in there is because it's going to go into 2011, potentially. It may never get there. Um, and so Dave Clouser supplied us with a rate schedule that would represent a 5% increase. We highly doubt that we're going to get there in 2011, but I didn't want to have to come back to the board and ask you guys again to extend the contract. So this particular amendment was not even written by us. It was written by the um, right. Dutchess County Waste and Water Authority. And as Virginia said, it's on their agenda. Okay. How far away are we from determining the goal, whether it's feasible to have a that's an excellent question. Um, the committee is meeting twice a month, as you know, and we pretty much started to review all the information we have and to try to get our perspective and how we're going to go forward with this. The town center is a very key issue, um, and we have not gotten to even look at the maps yet. I am fully anticipating that we're going to do that by the end of the year, but I don't want to commit to that more because if we don't get there by the end of the year, you know, then I have to come back to you guys again. So whether it's feasible to have a water thing is dependent on the discussions of the town center. Uh, okay. Mr. Clauser has made the statement that it is feasible to put in the water. It's two different things. I'm sorry. Yes, it's two it different is two things. different things. That's the problem. The, the scope of work, if you look at the contract and what's been done on it so far, um, he has made the determination, you know, informally in his interim report, that we can accommodate town sewer and water, which is necessary because if you have more than 50 rental units in any particular area, you have to have central. Okay, so the water. answer is, I guess, yes, from the feasibility, right? Right, okay. but there's other parts of the contract okay. that haven't been fulfilled, and there's wellhead protection, it's where to locate the system. You know, he hasn't really gotten through that part of the contract. Mm -hmm. And we may not, as a committee, say he's going to. But again, the committee. So this is just a kind of an escape clause type thing. You want to extend it just, just in case, I guess. Just in case, okay. because the committee again has not reached a decision. Decided. Okay. okay. I'd like to just ask one other question, Carol. Um, is it that because this study is has has already been been begun and and we are now um, considering um, extending extending the contract? Um, is the master plan committee going to consider the issue of the t of the town center as one of the first things they look at in your work? So that because until you consider that, well, it's an important question. Well, I know, but you know, I, I, I because do. part of what I've been understanding, as I'm understanding what you're saying, it's not just that it's feasible. I mean, one can put in a system, and and Dave, Mr. Clauser has said yes, it's feasible to put in a system. But to have it fleshed out in any way that you have to, you ha he has to know the size and the density of the town center. Exactly. He has to know those two things in order to, he, he has already given us a preliminary diagram of where all the piping is and how it would, how it would work and um, where he would locate the discharge point. And he, he has all of that preliminary stuff. To get back to your question, I really can't give you an answer that says, come September, we'll be talking about the town center. Um, I think the committee is moving along. I think the committee has a lot of ground to cover. We have to look at all the previous material that was done by the codes committee and where the old master plan was and uh, Joe Russell's study and all the way through. So I think it's going to be an ongoing process. One of the things we hope to do very shortly is to establish some um, time frames in which to accomplish this. But we've only just got a feet on the ground. So I don't want to give you a firm answer because okay. I don't think it's a great answer. Thank you. So do we need to vote?